Hi, I'm Albie Zweistein and I don't know anything about microscopes. I hate it when there is something I don't know anything about. I really hate it, I hate it a lot. So, I'm going to discover the secrets of microscopy and I invite you to accompany me to make the first steps in the world of microscopy together with me. I have to buy a microscope, but there are hundreds of them. What shall I buy? Hmm. Okay, I want to make videos from what I see through the microscope, and so I'll need a USB eyepiece. I want to observe small live in drop of waters. So, as some researchers in the internet have revealed, I will need a magnification of at least by a factor of mm, 400. Even small living creatures move, so I might have to follow them even when using a huge magnification, or I might have to look for a certain part of an object under the microscope my researchers have revealed I will need a real good and smoothly working mechanical microscope stage. And the whole microscope should not be too lightweight. And at least my wallet tells me not to spend more than $300. Hmm. I bought this microscope in the end. It's a Bresser, eroded 22, 15, 36, MO, whatever this means. It's just arrived and hmm, I'm already proud of it. It's a beauty. But what now? Well, yes, and here it is. Hmm. See? Power supply and um, cover for the microphone. Here is the uh, USB lens for the computer. One eyepiece is already inserted. This is called, yes, it's called Barlow lens. You insert it first, yeah, okay. And then this eyepiece, it's a 10 times eyepiece. And two more eyepieces, software for the computer, and some samples. All right. The first thing I have read here in this manual, the first thing to do is to install the microphone completely. And here we need the microscopes slide stage that's this animal here to adjust the microscope the best way to adjust the um, the things you are looking at the best way to observe them but how to do this so um, it's simple to attach, it's written here in the manual, okay. Uh, there are two small packs on the bottom of the slide stage. Mm -hmm. Here and here, I think. Um, yeah. That fit directly into the holes on the microscope stage. No, okay, I see, I see, I see. The stage retaining screw attaches the slide stage to the microscope stage. Okay, here, I see, and here, yeah, okay, I try. I just try it. I just try it. Ah, here, I think. Yeah, indeed, it fits, and then, yeah, this screw, make it fit. All right, no, no, 
country. Okay. That way. Yeah. Okay. Seems to be okay. Let's have a look at the picture. It's a nice picture over here. Hmm. Yeah, okay, here it is. All right, so that's done. What's the next? Electric illumination. Oh, let's try that. Let's open it. So where does it fit? In here. Oh, I need, yeah. I need electricity. So I have to, just a moment, somewhere I have got it. Um, so, is there a light down? Switch it on. Ah, yeah, there is a light. And you can dim it. I don't know if you see it. You can dim it. Ah, oh, yeah, let me have a look through it. Yeah, you can dim it. All right. Um, well, I'll just, I'll just use... Mm -hmm. Yeah, classical house fly legs. Mm -hmm. This way, uh -huh. yeah, okay. Let's put it down. Um, well, ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, so I have to get rid of my glasses. Do I see something? Do I see anything? No, I don't. Oh yes, but I should, of course, adjust the slide stage. Oh. What do I see? I show you on the PC later. Yeah, it is. Wow! It's, I can tell you already. It's a wonderful picture. Resolution is amazing, and the slide stage is very easily and very smoothly to be adjusted. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. So, and then you have here somewhere, yeah, here at, on the side, there are different filters for different colors to yeah to adjust the best contrast yeah yellow and green and some kinds of red or reddish and without any filter at all that's a different shade of yellow and blue yeah okay all right all right now let's have a look at um, the part of the microscope and let's find out how they are called. So, I need a picture. Here is a picture. Okay. So, but I have copied it. It's a better way to work. Where do I have it? Yeah, here it is. Okay. So let's go through it. One eyepiece. There is number one. Yes. Okay. My piece. Yeah, of course. This is, this is the eyepiece. Uh, the bow lens. I know already where the eyepiece is inserted into. 
And here there is a scale, and with this scale you can change the factor of the whole setup. Okay. Ah, uh, what else do we have? Eyepiece holder. Where is the eyepiece holder? Yeah, this tube is the eyepiece holder. This tube here. And then there is micro cooler. Yeah, they call this this PC lens, this USB lens. They call micro cooler. Microscope head. The microscope head is this. Ah, yeah, and you can turn it. Yeah, indeed. To get to get a good view from any angle you want. Yeah, good. The next thing is. Objective revolver, yeah, for different factors of magnification. Yeah, three objectives we have. Okay. And then we have what's that? Microscopic. That's German. No, that's microscopic. Well, that's a German word. Yeah, okay, this is the same here. Yeah. Okay, I see. And uh, focus wheel, number eight, that here. Yeah, okay, to focus the object by turning the desk here up and down. The next thing is uh, the filter wheel. It's here up at the side. Uh, with this camera you can't see it. It's here on that side. You can change its wheel. You can change the color of the filter for different contrasts. And then we have electrical illumination, of course. It's down here. Yeah, here it is. You see it here. That's um, small Brightness control, 11. Where do we have the brightness control? I think that's, yeah, here. Yeah. That's the brightness control. Look here. Yeah, good. Works, works fantastic. And once again, very smoothly to adjust. It's nice, I like it, I like that, really. It's nice. Microscope base, yeah, mechanical, and it's quite heavy. Not too heavy, but it's really, it's, it's a good feeling. It doesn't shift on the table. Um, the slide stage, number 13. Where is the slide? Ah, yeah, this is called the slide stage here. Yeah, yeah, to this, this mechanism, it's called the slide stage. You see here, let me turn it up and make the filter. Let's make the filter white, so without any filter. See there, haha. It's nice. Over there, different colors. Yeah. Different shapes as well, I think. Yeah, and then back complete without any filter. Wow, a lot of colors. Yeah. Huh? Is it going around? Yeah, it's going around. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's put that. Up. that let's let it like it is now. Um, yeah, you see how this lack of a housefly moves smoothly around. Okay. Um, then we have the slight stage retaining screw, number 14. Mm, I don't find it. I think it's this thing here. Yeah, to fix. Slide stage. Slide stage adjustments. Yeah, these are these two forwards and backwards. And vernier scale. Yeah, these are scales right here. We have to find out what units. I think it's millimeters here. But of course, how much it is here in the eyepiece, what you see. Um, depends on the factor of magnification, of course. Ah, that's clear. Stage clips. Oh, stage clips. Where are the stage clips? 
I have to find the stage scripts. 18. Ah, these. I see. One and the second here is fixed. You can open it to remove the object, the slide with the object, and then it's fixed. It's quite, quite strong, so it's really fixed. Here the slide. Once again, the plus. Um, specimen on the slide. Yeah, okay, that's clear. Number 19, where do we have it in the picture? We don't have it. Yeah. Okay, doesn't matter. And on off switch, of course, here. Okay, that's done. Now we have more. LED status, 21. LEDs. Ah, here. What's that? LED status. I think something with a battery or something like that. Or is there a battery? Okay, that's a nice question. Is there a battery? Yeah, there is a battery. You see the light is still on. The light is still on. But it's not connected to the electrical power. So I think... Yeah, okay. Clear. And power supply cord we have. So now we know... We know... No, we don't know everything. Uh, two times, five times, the eyepieces. What kind of eyepieces do we have? We have ten times eyepiece. Um, we have uh, five times and sixteen times. I think that is five, should be. Yeah, five times, we go on, and sixteen times. Factor of sixteen, this one, and the software. So, um, I would recommend to install the computer software now, so that even you can have now the view through the microscope. In the meantime, I have removed the microscope on a huge table nearer to the computer. And um, there is the USB lens, I've inserted it. And I've installed the driver for this um, USB lens, not yet the photo auto optimizer uh, software. And let's have a look through the microscope. All right. All right. All right. Let's start it. So, what I have to do, of course, is to no, the device to choose the device. It's called USB 2 PC camera. This is this lens, and yeah, it's still a house fly legs under it. And Perhaps I'm looking forward to them. Live in a water drop, the classical. I've, I've never, I've never seen it. I have to admit that I'm looking forward to doing it. So different color filters. All right. Okay. Seems to work. Now let's try uh, something else. Well, um, I have read a little bit. In the manual, there are 
some tips for first experiments and so I have got myself a little bit of water pipette and a pair of tweezers, well two pairs, but I will use this um, and I'm going to observe this thread of textile so I cut off a piece away Okay, put it on it, and now the water steps in. Uh -huh. Make it wet. It is written in the manual that I should make it wet. Okay, so I make it wet. And I take the cover glass, and because I don't want to observe my fingerprints, I use this pair of tweezers to place this cover glass across across the thread of textile but it seems there's a lot a little bit low water mm -hmm, a little bit too much let's try it like that yeah all right, let's go to the microscope. Here it is. All right, let's go to the microscope here and place this under it. I'd find it, of course. Uh -huh. Here it's coming. Yeah, indeed. It's easy to be seen. Easily to be seen. Okay, this is my towel thread. Thread of a towel. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's try once again different filters. Ah, yeah. Oh, no, not yet. I thought it was. What about different lights? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I have... Now, this wheel, the filter wheel, is exactly between two filters, so no light is coming down, coming through the lenses. Let's... So, now it's the light only coming from above. No light from falling through the specimen. No light coming from the condenser down there here because the lamp is switched off. Also nice, interesting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so let's switch on the light again. Make it... Oh, okay. Different filters. Really interesting experiments possible. Okay, it's that. Well, now let's try something with life. I've got some water here. It's from my beans. Perhaps you have watched this experiment with the beans and I'm trying without any further preparations to find some life in this world. I'm really not sure if I'll be successful with it. But, okay, a drop of water. All right. And once again, these. Mm -hmm. Let's do it very carefully. Wow! Oh yeah, we have to remove. I have to remove the textile to replace it by, I hope, by some life. <laughs> 
let's start the application. Okay. So. Try some bigger lenses. Yeah, here. I think these are bubbles. Just, well, what's that? Different kind of bubbles and different yeah, bubbles and some dirt, some stones, something. Is the biggest one. Oh, something is going on! Yeah! Look at that! Something is going on there. But what? Do I know it? I understand. No, I don't. Bubbles, different layers. Something was going on there. What? No, oh, that's wrong, that's wrong. So, ah, no, I see something. Okay, so something's going on. Some movement going on, but it may be just bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Well, I think I think I will have to wait a little bit before we can discover life in this water drop. things I didn't understand at first. Um, first thing is the problem with too much light. Um, what you see now is an absolutely well working USB lens, even if you don't see anything, just white. And I didn't understand and uh, I installed the software once again and and and. and the problem is quite simple because it's too much light. I turned the light down on the microphone, on the microscope. I turned the light down now, more and more, and hey, here it is. I have just to sharpen it. Yeah, and here is the picture. Once again, turning up the light, and you think, or I thought, there was a problem with um, my USB lens, but indeed was not. The second thing I didn't understand at first is the phenomenon of, of course, the depth of focus. So I adjust the focus now very slowly. Now it's nothing. Focus. Now I see a layer of objects, perhaps bubbles, getting sharp. Now I go deeper into the object and I get a different second layer of smaller bubbles getting sharp. And then I'm out of now I'm out of focus again completely, but I adjust farther and farther, and now I get once again a layer of objects, bubbles getting sharp. Now I go the opposite way 
And as it's as you see, there are always different objects getting sharp. And once again, so different layers of objects getting sharp. All right. So let's look at the same phenomenon using our textile thread. So you see, while, while changing the focus, different layers get into focus, get into focus. Now there are different threads. There is indeed only one at the moment, thread being in focus. And now it's the deeper layer getting into focus again. And back again. And back again. And now look at that. I know it's terrible. Two USB Hubs and a lot of USB sticks and USB cables and USB ports and, 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 and. I know it's terrible, I should change it. And this caused a small problem in installing, installing the software. Uh, because um, first time I tried, the software didn't work. And um, so I changed uh, the USB port uh, from, let's say, the last in the row to the first in the row, and after that the software worked perfectly. Well, a quite simple tip, but important. Um, concerning the USB lens, it's important that the cables here go straight down in a 100 in, in a 90 degree angle there is a small small sign here it should show completely to the right because when i use the slide stage and turn the slide stage move the slide stage here left and right on the screen the object, the specimen, should move also left and right. The same is up and down. Let's turn it to the right. And then you see the direction of movement on the screen is different from the direction of movement of the slide stage. 